Yo, what's going on? Uh, I have my uh, SDI here, and uh, I found a little, a little tiny issue with it. And um, I was lucky enough that some guy sent me a while back a Wilson Combat Extended Guide Rod, so I just put that in there. But uh, I called STI and I said it was okay if I run that Wilson guide rod in there. And he said, yeah, it's fine. I'm like, well, I did run it with it in there and I have no problems. The gun's firing perfect with it. He said, yeah, that's fine. But our, our, uh, our guide rod is a little unique. So, you know, the best thing to do actually is to use STI's guide rod. So I said, well, can you send me one? He said, absolutely. And it got here like this. Okay. Uh, it got here so fast, I didn't know what it was because I was like, it can't be the guide rod already. I just talked to the guy, and sure enough, it was. And uh, that was very nice of him. Excellent customer support on this pistol. Sorry, guys, I don't have my good uh, tripod with me today that uh, Russell sent me. Thank you, Russell, man. I got this piece of shit one, so you're gonna hear all kinds of creaks. It's in the trunk of my car because I use it at the range. Uh, so, excuse the creaking. Uh, I want to show you. Uh, this is why this is what I mean when I say you got to pay attention. You know, this happens with all kinds of guns. Even a reputable company like STI, some things just slip through. It wasn't a problem. It's a cosmetic problem. It wasn't an operational problem. But I noticed uh, this guide rod when it was made. If you look at it very closely, and if you look at the top, and then you spin it, it's not straight. And there's another thing I know, which it don't really need to be, but you want it to be because this is a good 1911. Um, and another way I checked it was I put a square on it like this to see if it was just me or am I crazy or what. And, you know, I know you can't see, guys, but it's just not. You can see daylight towards the end, towards the end here. What's the problem is the, the flat part is just, you know, it's poor machining. So, they, you know, whoever machined this, I don't know, maybe it was a Friday, they, they wanted to go home. So, that's what happened. Now, STI sent me a brand new one. So, I took the Wilson out, I put STIs back in, but now I'm going to show you uh, the new one they sent me, the difference. Okay, big difference. And the Wilson, where is the Wilson? There is a difference. With the Wilson, because there's here's the Wilson mag I had in there, which worked fantastic, I had no problems. But uh, here's the back of it, and you're going to see there is a little bit of a difference. The Wilson's made excellent; it actually has a bevel around the edge, which is great. Because then the plug won't get hung up when you're trying to push it down. That's what that bevel's for, and that's really good. And as you can see, this Wilson is perfectly straight on top. It's perfect. Okay, so this is just a machinist error, so you know, it's it just made quick and it's kind of, as you spin it, you can see it's going like this, it's not straight. So, uh, I mean, I won't even keep this, I, I kept it for the video, I'm throwing it in the trash because uh, to me, I won't use that. But what I wanted to show you is the difference between the STI uh, guide rod and the Wilson guide rod. Let's take the new one out of here. What do you see how nice this new one is? No questions asked, just sent me the part. I love it. They didn't play that cheap crap and send us the old one, all that stupid shit. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, you should always use, uh, try to learn how to take your 1911s apart, especially because they are a combat weapon, they're a military weapon without tools. But uh, I like using this wooden dowel because I have it, it just makes it easier. So, I'll push that down. Okay, swing it that way, pushing, let's take it apart, get the guide rod out. This thing comes apart and goes together, sweet, and that is a good sign of a good quality gun. It means it's fit right, it's made right, and it doesn't jingle, it's not loose. Off. Okay, here's the new guide rod they sent me. This is just an interesting video. There it is. It's beautiful. It's nice and polished. You remember, there's a lot of friction on here, and the spring rides on here. 
like a shock absorber and there's a lot of friction so it's very has a very high high polished guide rod uh, machined perfect you don't see no waviness at all I'll put my square on it which I already did to check it make sure it's square it's perfect and now in the in the back there is a difference between the Wilson and the STI okay this is the STI the STI is notched out for the barrel link it's so the barrel link sits in there nice and it also is beveled see the bevel on the STI the Wilson is just your average you know typical plain guide rod system and the STI is definitely way different so that's probably what he meant when he said well it's alright I guess you can use the Wilson but if it's if it's working that's fine but I would go with one of ours how about I send you one okay so it is different so just thought I'd show you guys that when, when you get your guns man you really gotta you really gotta keep an eye on things you really gotta look at everything really closely because they're just they're just making firearms right now so fast you know because of all this crap going on and this is what I mean by the barrel link so when you sit the barrel link up it falls right into that notch and it just kind of hugs it like a glove and I don't know why I guess to give it more room to move forward it makes uh, assembling easier I don't know that's what I'm going to say and it kind of holds it for you you know how it fumbles around when you're putting the uh, frame on so it just kind of holds it for you pretty neat pretty neat idea uh, there's other 1911s like that too but I just never really paid attention to it STI is not the only one that does that so I just wanted to show you that even if you get a high quality gun uh, always look at everything. I mean, I've had plenty of high quality guns and I've found, you know, uh, machining errors many times, many times. So, uh, come on, jingle me, man. Jingle me. Oh, you're making me look like a liar. Oh, what are you doing? Will I edit that out? Nope. Nope, not editing that out. That's because I can't talk and do something at the same time. You know, hey guys, when it comes to, you know, I'm talking about that hockey stuff, don't take it so seriously. I'm just kidding around. I got a lot of respect for the New York Rangers, believe me. And why do you think I'm so excited that, they, that the Flyers beat them? I mean, it's hard to beat the Rangers, man. They're a really good, fantastic hockey team. When you beat the Rangers... It just says a lot. It says you have a future. It says your team's good. It makes you feel good about your team when you beat a great team like that. But it doesn't mean I have to like it. Okay. So. All right. Put this bad boy in there. This is a really cool 1911. Uh, I don't know. I know they're all basically the same, but there's just something different about this one. It just feels, uh, it's just a little different, you know. It's a little different. So, hope I keep it, right? Me too. So far, it's awesome. Still trying to get used to the uh, target sights. Okay, there it is. Everything's nice and square. I love that nice pie polish on that on that guide rod. Re really does reduce friction. You can feel the difference when you put the Wilson in there. <coughs> which it's not high polished and then put the polished one in there it just feels just a little more slicker just a little you know that little bit can help your gun be more reliable what a nice pistol uh, just like I said still trying to get used to these uh, target sights uh, I can't I can't line it up quick I gotta I gotta wait a minute to line it up in there but uh, I'm gonna just leave them on there I, I don't want to change it alright and thanks for uh, calling in on uh, eBomi's blog radio show there is my, what kind of mag am I using? Oh, this is a mech car. Okay, and I got the uh, Remington hollow points in there. Haven't ran any hollow points to this yet, so I don't, I don't use it for home protection yet, but I, I, I have to run a couple boxes of hollow points. If you run a couple boxes of hollow points and if there's no problems, pretty much, you're pretty much good. You know, guys, i seen a couple comments, you know, a gun don't prove it's reliable to thousands and thousands of rounds. Really? That's a crock. That is a crock of shit. No way. If, you, if a gun gets through 
500 to 1,000 rounds and you haven't had any problems, you're good to go. If you have a problem later, something broke in your gun. Does that mean it's not reliable? I mean, that's nuts. I mean, uh, that's, you know, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me. So only uh, guys that say that are these guys that, that shoot a lot. I mean, these guys, they are heavy, heavy shooters. They go to the range and they really run the rounds through their pistols all the time. They run thousands and thousands of rounds. Well, if you do that, yeah, something might break after a while because you're running thousands and thousands of rounds. Just like car brake pads, right? You go thousands and thousands of miles, you're going to be cutting into your drum. Does that mean your car brakes are unreliable? Come on, man. Common sense, man. If you get through 500 rounds, no problems, good to go. And then after that, you put some hollow points in there, cut maybe a couple hundred rounds of hollow points, you got yourself a good gun, man. I don't care. That's all it takes to convince me. I'm, I'm very comfortable with that. But I understand. A lot of guys are paranoid, you know. They don't feel comfortable with their gun that have thousands and thousands of rounds to it. That's just... Phew. I don't know. Better you than me. That's a lot of money. All right, guys. Well, I hope this helped you. Keep an eye on your gun parts because the guns are being made very quick now. And look for errors. And if you find one, I'm sure whoever the company is will send you a part to uh, correct it. All right, guys. See you later.